Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make three cards using the rotating stencils. This is stencil pack one, along with some stamp sets from the Say It With Style special. So I'm going to use all the best wishes and you go girl. All right, so let's get started. So I'm using these big 12 by 12 rotating stamps or stencils, and this is from Stencil Pack 1 from the uh, Essentials Catalog. And these are the two stamp sets that I'm going to use. I'm going to grab some sentiments from each of them to create cards. Okay, so first let's make our backgrounds for three cards. So I'm going to start with that uh, first stencil that has some florals on it. And I'm just using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This is White Daisy, but I'm only going to be working in that upper six by six quarter of this uh, piece of cardstock. Okay, so you can, the stencils are set up so that you can do a full 12 by 12, or you can break it down and do smaller bits, um, whatever you wish. So since I'm making cards, I just need the six by six. So I'm just gonna work with that section. So I'm starting with the upper left corner and I'm just going to mark a number one so I know where I started and I'm using these uh, pens that don't smear on acetate and other non-porous surfaces and uh, for my first uh, background I'm going to use some pinks so I'm going to start with ballerina and just see how dark it is and I'm starting with the largest flower on that stencil, so the, the uh, section that has the largest openings. All right, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I've pre-treated my stencils with uh, some pixie spray. So they have some tack on the back of them, so they'll stay put. And then I'm just using some Close to My Heart masking tape to keep my cardstock in place. And I'll speed this up a little bit faster. I hope you don't get dizzy watching my blending brush go around. I like to use a blending brush just so it will get in all those nooks and crannies. And um, Pixie Spray is a low-tack uh, adhesive uh, spray, and so it'll just peel up easily off of cardstock. And then I'm just going to rotate, and then I'll place it down, and this time I'm going in with Lemonade. So when I placed my stencil back down, I made sure that the uh, round openings were in the centers of the flowers, and then the rest are just kind of random. Uh, but you want to make sure that the uh, circles go right in the center of those pink flowers. Okay, so then I'm going to rotate again. And depending on if you're using a darker color or something that's going to mix and create mud, you want to wipe off your stencil. And I'm just going in really lightly and uh, wiping that down. My next color is going to be green, so it doesn't matter. Um, it'll it could blend nicely with the yellow, so um, just be mindful of that if you need to wipe down your stencil. Okay, so this time I'm going in with jade, and the openings are the petals. Okay, so they are random petals. They don't actually fall underneath the petals of the flowers. They're just kind of going in between. So let's go ahead and blend color. And you could do some detail blending. You could go darker at the base of the petals and then feather out to light. Um, I just wanted to get some color down, so um, some, some of them turned out that way. I'm good with the way it looks. And then rotate again. And then this is some more random uh, dots and splatters that are in between. And first I thought I was going to use Glacier, but then I changed my mind and decided to use some of this Lime Aid. I thought that would be nice in between all the pink flowers. So I'm just going in with that. I think we have a nice combination of colors here. And make sure I've got color in all the openings and that one's all done. Okay, next background. This one, it kind of looks like dahlias, I think. Um, You'll see what I mean in a section, second. I've got the largest images first, and that's in the upper left corner. And I'm going to start with Wisteria, and I want a, a lighter wash of Wisteria. So I'm not pressing very hard on my brush, and I'm just uh, 
laying down a light layer of color for these flowers. Now this one, um, it's the stencil is built, and then I went and had and wrote my number one. The stencil is built for a 12 by 12, so that center, you'll see it has the four quadrants, and so when you spin your uh, stencil and you're making a 12 by 12, each of those four will make a single of that largest flower right in the middle there. So I'm not too worried about that because I'm making cards, so just a note. The next color I went in with is Royal. This is a beautiful purple. It's just stunning in real life. Note, it does stain. It doesn't ruin your stencils. Um, they're still, they still work perfectly, um, but they will stain your stencils and some of your stamps with the, this uh, deep royal color. So next color I'm going in with is Lagoon. And this is just a, a random uh, pattern. They're not, the openings are not meant to line up and uh, layer. They're just meant to uh, coordinate with each other and then you can have all different colors on your, your piece there. And then I'll rotate the stencil again and place this one down. And then I wasn't sure if I want it to go in with an orange or a yellow. So the new pumpkin or lemonade. And ultimately I decided I liked the lemonade. So I'm gonna go in with that. And there's just a few openings, but a couple of pops of lemonade there. Just really work with all this, the combination of colors here. So I'll add that lemonade. And then the background's all done. Okay, next background, I have another piece of 12 by 12. This one is with the stars. Now this one is part of the uh, stencil layers. Okay, so I have my number one up in the corner there. So I'm where I started, and I'm going to do a combination of blues. So I'm going to start out with Glacier and get my large stars down. Okay. We'll just lay down some color, get all those stars, and then I'm going to rotate. Now I'm going to go in with Journey. Okay, so I'm rotating. And this time, this layers, the, the uh, decoration on top of the stars, layers on top of those stars. So make sure you have everything lined up before you start. And then I'm going to go in with the new Journey color of the year, and I'm going to add that. This color is just stunning in real life. That and Royal are my two favorite new colors. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna rotate again. And then these are images that are in between the stars. And I decided to go back in with Journey again because the first time it was layered on Glacier, so it took on a different tone. So now I wanna use the real Journey. And I'm gonna go in with those little openings Okay, and then I'll wipe off my stencil real quick, and then I'll rotate. And then first, I thought I was going to go in with Lagoon, but I, I wasn't happy. It didn't pop quite enough, so I decided to go in with some Jade. All right, so I'm just going to layer right over those few that I did Lagoon and um, then my camera turned off. So <laughs> that's the finished product and you'll see more of it when I make a card. Okay, so now I have all of my background panels done. So I'm just gonna clean them up with some of the uh, color that went over the edges there. And then I'm gonna trim these panels down. So this first one, I'm gonna cut at uh, four by five and a quarter. And then I'm keeping that other piece um, that uh, it's not waste. I'm keeping it so that I can do a little fussy cutting. So I'm just going to trim that section off so that I can use the rest of that white daisy to create my sentiment. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use this um, large thank you. And then uh, some of the smaller sentiments too, they're strip sentiments. So the strip sentiment that I'm gonna use is, it says you are the best, All right? So I'm stamping thank you out in black, and then I'll just flip that around and I'm gonna do my strip sense 
sentiment in uh, rosy. Okay, so I'm stamping twice so that I get a nice, deep, brilliant color, especially with these uh, solid stamps. It's good to stamp twice. So the thank you has a coordinating die, and then I'm going to fussy cut around the strip. And I'm also going to fussy cut some of these flowers that I stenciled. So I'm just trimming around and sped the video up pretty fast, and then we'll skip ahead. I'm going to cut two flowers and some of the leaves from these uh, leftover scraps here. And then I've die cut the word thank you. And I've cut it two more times in white cardstock so I can stack them. Okay, my base is going to be black, and it's going to be black for all three cards. So I'm going to cut four and a quarter by five and a half. And having that little border of black will make the sentiment pop. Then I'm going to bring in a piece of rosy. This is the lighter side, the lighter color of rosy. And I'm going to cut that at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring this floral background in. And I'm just going to set it in my trimmer at an angle. And I'm looking at the design and deciding what's going to be cut off and what's staying put. And then I'm just going to cut. Okay. So that's going to layer on top of the rosy. And you don't necessarily need that whole entire piece of rosy. I could have trimmed it down, but I just decided to go ahead and layer. And then I'm going to lay everything out on my card front. And those flowers that I die cut or that I uh, fussy cut, I'm going to tuck them under that diagonal corner so that the background behind them will be rosy. Okay. So I'm layering my thank you die cuts here and just gluing them all together. I'll skip ahead in a second. I'm going to pop my strip sentiment with some thin foam tape. And I've got everything layered together on my card and I'm at the last step here, I'm ready to add my sentiment. So I've just glued all those layers down uh, with wet glue and stacked them just the way that I laid them out. And then I'll add the thank you and then my strip sentiment. You are the best. And then for the last touch, I'm going to bring in some clear sparkles. So these are the regular sized clear sparkles. And a trick for using them is to just kind of place the carrier sheet where you want it to go and then just slide it off. There's lots of tools and uh, picks and tweezers and all kinds of things that you can use to, to get these um, little crystals to stick to your card. But the easiest way i found is just to slide them off and put them where you want them. Yeah, so I scattered a bunch of those around and we're going to call that card done. Nice, bright, happy colors. Creating your own background papers with those stencils. Okay, next one. This is with the bright royal color. So I'm going to trim this off and save the rest of my white daisies so I can create sentiments. And just cleaning this piece up. And I decided that I wanted to use a strip of this design. So I'm going to cut it at three and three quarters. And eventually I'll trim the length of that down to five and a quarter. And then I'm bringing in a piece of royal and I'm going to cut that at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And my base will be black. So I'll have that pop of royal right there on the side. And then I've got enough of that background paper I can make a second card. Okay, so my sentiment is going to be hello, and this is from that same set that is called All the Best Wishes. I love the font on this. It's kind of retro, and with that uh, Dahlia design, it just I think it goes really well. And then my strip sentiment says just a little note to say hello, and I'm stamping that out in royal ink. Okay. 
And I love that the hello and all the large sentiments have coordinating dies. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut around this one and I'm cutting right up to the edge so that it pops nicely on top of that uh, background because it will be kind of in the, the white area. And then I'll go ahead and die cut the word hello and I'll cut two more layers. Okay, so now I have all my components here and I'll just glue together my sentiment really quick. I'm just using wet glue and I'll stack them. It just gives them some strength and adding the extra layers of cardstock, it really makes a difference. And then you don't have to use foam tape and it's just a whole lot easier and it becomes kind of a chipboard piece. Okay, so now we're ready to start building the card and I've layered in that uh, piece of black and then I'll go ahead and layer in my stenciled piece and I'm going to leave that black border. And having that black border, it'll make the sentiment pop all more. And then I'll go ahead and layer in that piece of royal on the side. And then we can add our sentiment. Okay, so there's kind of an open white space on that design, so the sentiment will fill in there nicely. And then we'll put that strip sentiment right above it. Just a note to say hello, and that's popped with some thin foam tape. And then to finish this off, I have some iridescent sequins. These are from this calls for confetti. And um, I don't know if they call this confetti or if they call it sequins. They're like sequins without the holes. And they're iridescent purple. And I think they're just perfect to go with the colors on this card. So I've scattered a whole bunch of those around. And we'll glue those down. And then we'll call this one done. This one's my favorite. These colors, the color combination with that royal cardstock, it just pops. So much fun. Okay, that one's all done, and here's some close-up shots. I'll put some information about this special um, in the description below. You'll find all the uh, bundles and uh, components to this uh, special uh, on my website and uh, it'll be available uh, while supplies last. Okay, last one is the stars. So I'm just cleaning this up, trimming it down and looking at the design and what part of it I want to use. So I'm gonna trim this down to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got my background of black and then I'm going to bring in some Journey, and this is the regular color of Journey. And the stamp is from You Go Girl, and it says you were all kinds of amazing. So I'm going to cut a piece of Journey, and um, I wasn't sure how much I wanted to use. So I started out by cutting, this is four inches across, and I thought that that was covering up way too much of that star background. So I need to trim it smaller. I trimmed it a bit more. Nope still covering up too much. So I just decided to go for it and I'm gonna go in and just cut one and a quarter inches. So my sentiment will be hanging over the edges, but that's okay. All right, so it's one and a quarter inches and then I need a little pop of sparkle. So I'm gonna bring in some of the Journey Shimmer Trim. Okay, so I'm gonna cut four inches and then I'm gonna cut it in half. Shimmer trim is a, a half an inch, and I just want a quarter inch. So if you take some uh, tape runner and just put a couple of little spots so that your uh, shimmer trim won't move in your trimmer, it makes it easier to be able to trim it in half. Okay, so I've got a quarter inch on each side. All right, so I'm gonna stamp my sentiment and I'm gonna stamp it in black. And I'm gonna stamp it twice because I, I want it nice, nice and dark and crisp. 
and then I have a coordinating die for that sentiment. So I've cut two more. I'm going to stack them. And we can go ahead and start assembling. Okay, so I've sped this up pretty quick. We'll just layer in the black cardstock, and then we'll layer in that star stenciled background. And then we'll layer in that piece of journey. And our two strips of shimmer trim. And if you have, like me, one that's just a little bit thicker, make sure you put the thicker one on the bottom. It just it looks heavier to the eye, so when you put it below the skinnier one, it just makes sense to your eye. Okay, so these are some of the white acrylic shapes, and I pulled some of the little stars. I thought I was going to use three, but then looking at it, I like just the two. So I'm going to put one on either side of my sentiment there. And the acrylic shapes are easiest to attach to anything using glue dots. Okay, so I'm just going to use my piercing tool and just add a couple glue dots on either side for those stars. And we'll call that one done. So cute. And then we'll bring the other two in and I'll have closer shots of this one card here. So like I said, I'll make a list of all the supplies that I use with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. I have over 400 in the library. I publish on Mondays and Wednesdays, one card making video per week and one scrapbook layout video per week. And thanks for watching.